Flamingo, Friday the 13th. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Max. Yo, yo, Junior. Hi, Ryan here. We're so excited to knock your socks off. Now, let's please stand and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. National Day! Today is National Peanut Day. Likely originating in South America around 3,500 years ago, this legume is not a nut. They grow underground like potatoes. When it comes to plants packing protein powder, peanuts provide a whopping 8 grams per ounce, more than any other nut according to the Peanut Institute. And remember, it's not a nut. Nuts grow on trees. The peanut is also high in antioxidants. Not only are peanuts high in vitamins E and B6, but they're rich in minerals such as magnesium, iron, and zinc. Studies also show that when paired with other nutrient-rich foods, this wonderful legume helps us absorb nutrients better, too. Beach Bash! Breaking Beach Bash news! We're at $19,465. Only 500 away until Miss Shunk and Mr. Meyer race in the track in flamingo suits, and only 5,000 more until we earn a field day. Here are the individual raffle prize winners for this week. John S. won a desktop fridge. Quentin O. won the a mini hi-fi speaker. Henry S. won the JBL Bluetooth speaker. Ellie B. won the Stanley Club plus Sycamore key ring. Broken H. won the Stanley Club plus the Sycamore headband. Chris M. won the Roblox gift card. Ethan S. won the Fortnite V-Bucks gift card. Abigail M. won the Roblox gift card. And Zoe S. won four admission tickets to the athletic game. Congratulations, students, and the other 700 students that haven't had the chance to get donations. Get out and sell this weekend so that we can see the Flamingo race and have a field day. We can do this. Don't be skimmy the Ohio. Get lit. Turn on your wrist and ask for donations. Plus a thousand Dora, or at least fifty dollars total. Just, Just do it. it. Just give me my money and go ahead. Okay. Go out this weekend to get donations to make these goals happen. Go to this start and register. HTTPS colon slash slash pledge star dot com slash sycamore junior high slash. Are you on team Meyer and Pinky? Or are you team Principal Shunk and her flamingo? Definitely team Shunk. Me too! Let's do this sycamore junior high. I just want to see Miss Shunk and Mr. Meyer run the track with their flamingos. Get out there this weekend. Okay, all students, check your emails today during Flex or Study Hall to stay up with cleaning your electronic mailbox. If you need help, ask a teacher, a staff member, or another knowledgeable student to help manage your email. Get in the habit to check it every day. Make sure to check your email from Assistant Principal Ms. Helms. She shared a video reviewing the PBIS website and the Point Reward Store. Make sure you are getting your points and start working toward a prize. Spirit Week is next week! Starting this Sunday, September 15th, is the High School Homecoming Parade and Community Tailgate, beginning at 4 p.m. at Sycamore High School. Homecoming Spirit Week activities that we share with the high school start on Monday, September 16th. That is Merca Monday, where red, white, and blue to support America. Tuesday, September 17th, pick your favorite. You could dress up for a warm summer day or a cold winter night. On Wednesday, September 18th, you get to dress like in a, one of the Olympic rings. You can either wear yellow, blue, red, or green. The staff will be wearing black. On September 9th, on Thursday, September 19th, is Jersey Thursday. Wear your favorite jersey of any sports team. And, and Friday, September 20th, is when the A's will go for gold. It is game day. Wear the green and gold to support the A's. It's clubs and activities, activities announcement time! Math Club! If you're interested in joining Math Club this year to compete in local and national competitions with other school teams, the first meeting will be on Wednesday, September 18th, after school in Mr. Miles' room, 2204. Meetings will be each Wednesday after school. No need to sign up in advance. Just show up. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Miles at milesj at sycamoreschools.org. Yearbook Club! 
The next yearbook club meeting will be Thursday, September 19th during Flex in Mrs. Spielman's Art Room 2155. This will be a photo workshop. Grab a Flex Pass for the meeting in room 2155. Your book club is still accepting new members. Email Mrs. Spielman if you are interested in joining or attend Thursday's meeting. Spirit wear orders will be due on September 19th as well. If you need an order form, stop by Mrs. Spielman's classroom. Hope to see you there! Power of the Pen! And I hope other young writers, such as myself, will continue to improve their writing and make many new friends in Power of the Pen. One thing is for certain, Power of the Pen has been a wonderful experience that I will never forget. And I look forward to sharing my stories with the world. I love this organization and everything they did for me, and I know you will too. Hi everybody, my name is Sage. I was in Power of the Pen back in 2004 or 2005. Um, and the reason Power of the Pen means so much to me is because it forced me to start writing. And to this day, I think the hardest thing about writing is just getting started. And not only does Power of the Pen force you to start writing, it forces you to trust yourself. You just have to go, go, go and create. Um, and I think that's a great habit to get into. Keep writing, keep trusting yourself, and you'll, you'll just keep getting better because the only way to get better at writing is to write. next Monday, September 16th from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. in Miss Huff's room, room 2212. If you cannot make the meeting but are interested, please email Miss Huff at huffr at sycamoreschools.org. International Club! Come join the International Club! The International Club is for everybody who wants to learn and experience different cultures. You don't need to speak a foreign language. The most fun part is sampling ethnic foods from different countries. You are guaranteed to get snacks every time. After all, food is the primary part of every culture, right? We play games, make presentations, make crafts, and do other fun things. If you are interested, email Wolford Sensei at WolfordM at SycamoreSchools.org. Flight Crew! Join Flight Crew to build a school environment where everyone is inspired, feels safe, and leaves fulfilled at the end of the day. We meet Thursdays from 315 to 415 in room 1261. Email Rister Rodriguez. Rodriguez D at sycamoreschools.org for an application or scan this QR code from the video located in our Aviator Airways SJH News Crew YouTube channel. Flyer for the Partners Club. Mark your calendars for the first meeting to start October 2nd with Miss Lisa in room 1260. Partners Club will continue to meet the first Wednesday of each month from 3 to 4 p.m. Any questions, contact Miss Lisa at Chris. Crisp L at sycamoreschools.org. Over to our counselors. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. The counselors are here today. Mr. Brenner, Mrs. Suter, and Mrs. Morris. Uh, we'll be sharing some helpful information throughout the remainder of the school year on video announcements as well as through email. So make sure you are always checking and reading your email. Today, the counseling department would like to introduce ourselves, let you know where, we, where, where to find us and how to best access us during the school day. So I'm Mr. Brenner, and I work with students' last names A through G. So if your last name's anywhere A through G, I'm your go-to guy. Uh, you might also be asking, though, why would we even see our counselor? We help support you with all things academic, could be grades, scheduling, career exploration items, social concerns with friends, so we, any of those dilemmas that pop up, we want to help you with that, to personal issues that you may be experiencing and need some help with. Pretty much any challenge that pops up throughout the year, we are here to help you troubleshoot it. I'm going to let Mrs. Suter talk about the process on how to come see us. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Suter. I cover all the last names H through N. So if you decide you want to see one of us, there are a couple different ways to connect. A lot of students like to email us to request a meeting, which is totally fine. Other students will let their teacher know they'd like to see us, and then they'll send you down to see us or uh, schedule a meeting. They could call us. Another way is that you could just stop down on your own between classes to request a meeting. We are in the same hallway as the nurse, so if you know where that is located. There are going to be times that we're not available right away, though, and we won't be able to meet with you when you come down. So if that's the case, we do have little notes that you can fill out um, that Mrs. Manning has in her office, and she is at first office in the hallway. 
And then you just write your name down, any message that you would need to leave, and we'll connect with you as soon as we can. We will often send you passes or call your teacher to send you down as well. Even if you don't request it, it might be for a different reason. So we're here to support you if you receive a pass from us. We are just connecting with you. And now it's Mrs. Morris's turn to let you know where you can find us. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Morris and I work with students who have last names that start with the letters O to Z as well as all of the ESOL students. The counseling offices are located on the second floor by the nurse's office. The check-in station is right outside of the first office. Mrs. Manning will check to see if we're available and then direct you to our offices. Some great time to see us are during flex time, during a study hall, or in between bells. We may also meet with you during class and we'll always write you a pass back to class when we're finished talking. We hope you've had a great start to the school year and we look forward to working with you. Feel free to stop down and say hello. Have a great day, guys. Bye, guys. Mark your calendars! Also, next Friday, September 20th, is our Beach, Beach Bash. Bash. We will have a special schedule for that day. We will share closer to the day. Keep getting donations to reach our $50,000 goal and wear green and gold to go. Get registered and turn in your donations. Th and thank flamingos. Hashtag Ohio Tech Day presented by Meta is on Friday, September 27th. If you're interested in teaming with Ohio and learning tech, email Mrs. Jarvis. Friday, October 11th, the first quarter grade period ends. So keep up your grades and finish the first quarter strong with hard work and determination. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to students celebrating today. Owen B. Philip K. Anna D. Jeremiah N. Andrew J. And celebrating over the weekend are... Adele R. Elvin C. Rodimir K. Julian N. Anna Maria R. And, and staff, staff member, Miss Suter. Enjoy celebrating your special day. Next up... What's up, baby Nation? Would you like to be a part of Fight Song Friday? Sounds, Sounds lit. lit. Email Miss Jarvis to be a part of this fun team. Here's a little example. Fight the team across the field. So Enjoy your day. Make positive choices. Open your mind to new learning. And, and meet new. a new friend. And, and go, go 